A new Titanic is coming out very soon in Pet Simulator X, and I'll be showing you guys how to get it. But first, do you want a free huge? Just like the video, subscribe, and comment your Roblox username. I have a golden huge rock right here, and I'm sending it to the last video's winner right now. There we go. So let's get into the video. What is Titanic Axolotl? Well, you've probably not heard of it yet. And of course, it's not going to be in the index. There are a whole bunch of huge Axolotl pets, but there is no Titanic yet. So here is what's going to happen. There's a developer named Spiffy, and... You can see he's literally affiliated with big games right here. But anyways, if you scroll down to his most recent tweet, it just says, I love axolotls and it's an axolotl that, I don't know, axolotls are pretty cool, not gonna lie. So you might just think this is a normal post of a developer saying that they like axolotls, but even like the leaks account just commented leak on it. And if you scroll down to some of his other posts, you can see before the Titanic Pie Dye Pets came out, which, well, he leaked them on May 11, or well, Big Games did, but below that, like a week before, you can see that he posted a leak of each Titanic pet, so even before that, there was another leak that was less obvious, so like, this is super obvious, you can tell that it's a Titanic plushie, but this is literally just tie-dye, and that was like 20 days before, so almost a month before it came out, he started posting leaks about it. Then you can see he posted on February 14th, the Titanic Capybara, so a lot of his tweets are literally just leaks and well except for the titanic capybara it seems like with the tie dye pets he posts the leaks about a month before and the first few or like the first one is more random and unless if you assumed it was a leak it might not have been seen as a leak because like this is literally just a tie dye texture but now that you see how many leaks he posts and then him posting i love axolotls that just makes it seem like this is definitely going to be another leak or it is a leak but this is gonna be another Titanic. You see this guy right here? He's gonna be a Titanic. Now, so far, all the leaks I've seen on Spiffy's Twitter have been plushies, so sadly, it looks like the Titanic Axolotl is gonna be another plushie right after they sell out from plushies. By the way, there were a thousand of each tie-dye Titanic and a thousand Titanic Luckies and Capybaras, so of course, only about 64% were redeemed because people resell them on, like, eBay. Some people just don't redeem them. Some people do giveaways with them, so only roughly like 80% normally end up getting redeemed because if we go to the balloon titanics only 85% of the red balloon cats and 86% of the blue ones were redeemed and that's after quite some time so I don't know exactly what happened with like the people that spent $250 but en ended up not redeeming even like I don't know it's just kind of surprising because of how expensive it is and they're still not redeemed I guess some people might be saving them until they become super super rare but both of the tie-dye pets literally sold out in one minute. Now, at a thousand each, $250, and there are two, that is $500,000 that Preston made in one minute. This is Titanic, Lucky, and Capybara. Capybara sold out in one minute, Lucky sold out in three minutes. So that's just really insane to think about it. Like, $500,000. That is as much as a good house cost, literally, just made in one minute. So the Titanic Axolotl might not be the only one that comes out, because usually when Titanics come out, they release two at once, because I guess that's just as many as people will buy in a very short amount of time and that's how many it seems like it's just good to make because they've been doing that for a while like the titanic balloon cast both came out at the same time the only time that one titanic comes out is if it's like a secret one that they don't really announce before like the blobfish came out randomly and the hippo melon came out randomly both only 75 exist well 75 came out but less exists because not all were redeemed but like right now 62 were redeemed so most of the hippo melons and only 57 of the blobfish. Since there was only one leak posted, well, I mean, there could be a second version of the axolotl, because there were, like, two balloon cats. They could be... Maybe there's gonna be a titanic axolotl, and then a titanic something else axolotl, like, because there are other variants of axolotls that are already huge. I don't know. It's either that, or it's gonna be one of the rare ones where only 20... Or, not 20, bro. 20 would be way too rare. 75 of them exist. Majority of the time, they do a thousand, though, so that's probably gonna be announced sometime within the next few weeks, maybe a month. But we already know the Titanic Axolotl is coming out. I'd say it's a very, very, very likely chance, and pretty much all Titanics that were leaked were plushies, and I don't think he's ever leaked any normal Titanics. If a normal Titanic got leaked, like one from Exclusive Eggs, there would be leaks for all the other pets in that Exclusive Egg. And right now, the Exclusive Jelly Egg is gonna be here next week. It only really has leaks. Like, he can only really get leaks around halfway through 
through the final week, so it would probably be around three days left before we got any new exclusive egg leaks, because that's just the time they start working on them, adding to the game, and then it gets leaked. And they've only ever had one free-to-play Titanic, the Titanic Jolly Cat, which had a really low chance to hatch. Based on how many plushy Titanics there are, and how that Twitter account mostly posts leaks, I'd say it's safe to say that the Titanic Axolotl will probably be a plushie and come out sometime within the next month. If I was wrong about this, I'd be pretty surprised, not gonna lie. I'd also be pretty surprised if we could finally get a huge meal for my daycare, but nope, looks like I got lag, and then 165 million diamonds, bro. They actually buffed diamonds quite a bit. I think yesterday I got luckier because I got, like, I think 800 million diamonds. The daycare is really buffed a lot for diamonds. I guess they buffed it because Diamond Mine gives so many diamonds, and Lucky Blocks give so many diamonds, they just wanted to make it decent, but since I took a huge out of my bank at the beginning of this video to give it away, now I'm just lagging whenever any UI opens. It's crazy how they can make hundreds of thousands of dollars within one minute, but they can't fix the UI lagging once it literally closes off your screen. They haven't done any changes to Lucky Block World, so hopefully this next update, they add something else to it, because, I mean, right now, I want to get all upgrades. They're just really expensive. I don't really feel like grinding this for hours and hours, because, I mean, usually I'm doing videos, trading, or, like, doing school stuff. Once I'm out of school, though, bro, I'm literally graduating in, like, a week. Kind of two weeks, but I'm not gonna have to worry about school anymore. I can just do, like, two videos a day no matter what. And whenever I need to stream or like do anything relating to videos, I can do it whenever I want. So it is going to be great to graduate from school finally. At least they started doing updates every other week. So they have a lot more time now to do like quality checks, bug fixes, and add even more content before the update comes out. Because not going to lie, the few recent updates kind of killed the game. Like on the weekend, not even late at night, like it was around the evening for EST time, they only had like 60k players so that was not a lot they used to have around 200,000 at that time when i started which was literally just like two months ago so hopefully their bi-weekly update system will allow them to add enough content and make it good enough that people actually play the game the next day so they still get hundreds of thousands of players for the hype gifts but they used to get over a million players like every update and now a lot of people are here just for the hype gifts and then barely play but but did you guys know that I am sponsored by Fresh Cut? If you don't know what that is, it's basically an app meant for gaming content and because they're trying to get a whole bunch of new players right now. And also give back to the community because stuff like TikTok, other platforms make a lot of money. They're actually giving people diamonds just to sign up using my referral code. So make sure, well, like my referral link is linked in the description to sign up right now. Verify your phone number so it doesn't think you're a bot. But you can get diamonds and if you get a lot of diamonds, then you get Robux again gift cards, kind of like Microsoft Rewards, or you can also tip them on videos. It might be a little biased, but I like that second option a lot. I'll give away a huge on here at 5,000 followers, so make sure you follow me after making an account with the link in the description. My username on it is at Telanthric, same as my YouTube channel. So that's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe with the notifications on, like the video, join the Discord server linked in the description, do everything else linked in the description, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.